Are you ready to tone and sculpt your arms like a professional dancer? Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'll be guiding you through a dynamic dancer arms workout that requires no equipment at all. With this eight minute routine, we'll be focusing on isolating and strengthening the muscles in your arms, your shoulders, and your upper back. You will be amazed at how these targeted exercises enhance your posture, increase your flexibility, and give you those beautifully toned dancer arms. This workout requires no equipment, so you can do it anywhere and anytime. Whether you're in your living room, a hotel room, or even at the park, you can achieve those sculpted dancer arms without the need for weights or machines. So let's get started. Grab some space, put on your favorite dance inspired outfit, and let's dive into this energizing dancer's arms workout. Let me just say that this video has been sponsored by Nor Blanc. Today I'm wearing their adorable workout set in the Bluma print. You can visit their website and use the code Caroline Jordan Fitness for 15% off your entire order. Dancer arms, let's do this thing. Stand with your feet hip distance apart, roll your shoulders down and back, and put a big smile on your face. Our first exercise is a chest expansion to lateral raise. You ready? Press the arms back, then raise the arms up. Now, I grew up dancing. I started ballet when I was three, and I continued on to pursue dance all the way into college, where I earned my Bachelor's of Arts in Dance and Communications. So all of the movements in this arm workout are inspired by my years of study of ballet, jazz, and modern. Chest expansion I love because it helps you engage your lats and open through the front. And the lateral raise, you should really feel the burn in your deltoids, that's your shoulders. Move at a speed that you feel challenged by, but also allows you to have amazing form. Pull your abs in nice and tight and keep breathing. Eight minutes goes far when you're with me, so I hope you're ready to achieve amazing results in no time. Good, take your arms to second position. From second, move to first and then second. Keep your shoulders away from your ears and just try to think about hugging a tree. Now, if you really wanna get dance inspired with it, you can take your feet into first position, squeezing your glutes and zipping up through your inner thighs. But remember, we also have a dancer lower body video and a full length Patreon dancer workout video that you can do if you need a little bit of extra after our eight minutes together are through. Good, Ooh, I'm feeling this already and we're just getting started. That's a good sign. All right, how's your posture? How's your positive attitude? Man, the burn is real. Good, if you're holding that first position, don't forget to squeeze your butt. <laughs> All right, from second, go to third, over your head. Relax your hands. Think graceful like a ballerina or ballerino that you are. Now, dance is one of life's greatest joys for self-expression, for release, relief, health and fitness. I love all forms of movement, but especially dance because you can really express yourself. Good, woo! All right, I think we're feeling this now. And also, you might notice that your upper back is working too those muscles that support proper posture, which is why a lot of dancers seem so poised, so elegant and tall. Good, reach over your head and back down. That's it, nice job. Shoulders be burning. All right, over your head. Now all I want you to do is pull down and reach up. So it's as if you're grabbing a rope and bringing it down towards your chest. When you do that, think about squeezing your back muscles. You just have to embrace the arm burn. Let it in, bring it on. Put that, that ballerina ballerino game face on. 
like, oh, I came for this. I'm here for it. Let's go. Good, elbows in by the side. Whew. That's exactly right. Big pull down. Can you move a little faster? Can you give me a little extra? You got it. I'm smiling big because I know we'll be happily sore tomorrow in the best way possible. <laughs> and now hold your arms open, close and open. Squeezing the chest muscles, keeping the elbows high, don't let them sink. Good. For those of you who are Patreons, I can't thank you enough for funding this channel and all of our videos together. It means the world to have you in my community. And wow, if you're feeling this, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget, comment below, tell me. You don't need weights to feel and get great results. Elbows up, don't let them sink. You got it. Woo wee, all right. Sometimes you just have to let out a sound effect or two. <laughs> Nice work. Home stretch, we have a few more movements and I want you to give me all you've got. Eight minutes, let's make it count. Tricep kick back, elbows in. We extend and bend from the back of the arm. Want you to hinge forward, work against gravity here. Go as fast as you can. And just think about really squeezing your triceps. You can also flip the palm up towards the ceiling. Try that variation. And I'm dancing a little bit with my lower body to distract from the burn. Whew. Keep your shoulders away from those ears. Good. Are you thinking about how amazing your arms are going to look and feel in your next tank top or summer adventure? <laughs> All right, keep that press going. You got it. Two exercises left, home stretch. From here, we've got our next exercise, a rear delt fly. So palms in, you're gonna open and close. Again, working against gravity, hinge forward from your hips, go out to the side and back in. Squeeze your upper back muscles. So I'm wearing this cute top and the cute top has an X in the back and I'm thinking about squeezing that X in the back. I know, it's a great workout set. <laughs> Keep squeezing and breathing and believing in your ability to achieve dancer arms. Whew. This is it. We have one more movement and it's my all time favorite of this entire sequence. So when I performed, we did all of the ballets. And my favorite one by far, what do you think it is? Let's find out in our next movement. You're gonna stand up all the way. We're doing the swan because Swan Lake is where it's at. So elbows bend and up. Nice little waves with the arms. Grand finale. Romeo and Juliet is a close second. So if you're bored later, Watch some Romeo and Juliet or Swan Lake Ballet on YouTube. It's just beautiful to watch dancers move. Give me the best swan you can. Elbows down and up. You should be feeling your arms. Whoo! This is it. Stand up really tall, breathe. I love working out with you. Few more seconds. You look so graceful. Fly to the finish, my friend. Ah, oh, yes, that's it. Good job. And done. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. And you have just completed this eight minute dancer arm workout. So how do you and your arms feel? Eight minutes can go far, huh? And I loved working out with you.
Remember, you can find the full-length Dancer at Home workout on Patreon, where I provide exclusive video content and a follow-along monthly program to help you get the best results at home. You can join us today at patreon.com backslash Caroline Jordan Fitness to get started. After two weeks of doing this dancer arm workout routine, you will see more definition in your arms. And when you do, I want you to come on over to the channel and leave me a comment to tell me all about it. Till next time, my friend, I hope we continue to use movement as medicine together for a healthier and happier life.